We've done it, guys. We've won the copyright war. Well, actually, I should say the battle, because there'll probably be more of these in the future. The video that was copyright striked, my alternative to a drip plugin. The video is now back up, so make sure to check out that video if you haven't. I'll link it in the description. Also, uh, make sure to grab the free drip alternative if you haven't. It's not called drip, it's called cum. And it doesn't take two clicks, it only takes one click. So make sure to check that out. I'm not gonna lie, I was actually pretty nervous after sending the counter notification because once you send a counter notification, if they do believe they actually have a case against you, they can file court proceedings against you. So I was a little bit worried that uh, these people lost their mind and were gonna sue me. I mean, I did have faith that I was not in the wrong here because I believe that what I was doing falls under fair use as well as uh, the idea of doing a parody. Come is clearly a parody of Drip, and uh, me talking over their footage is clearly fair use. So I'm not gonna lie, I did lose a little bit of sleep over this and I was uh, sweating bricks. Thankfully, I got an email from YouTube recently and they told me that everything's gonna be okay. That's exactly what the, the email said. <laughs> It basically just said that the copyright notification was accepted and uh, that everything was going to go back to normal. So I want to give you guys an update on w some other things that have happened, some funny things, some interesting things. Firstly, it seems like Kyle Beats, aka Smile Feats, was not the person at fault here. He hired a company, company. He hired a company named Redpoints that has terrible reviews on Google. By the way, according to the reviews on Google, they've done lots of lots of false copyright strikes. What happened next will completely shock you. Uh, take a guess here. Let's see if you can guess what happened. Nope, wasn't that. Not that either. They actually DMCA'd Kyle Beat's own website. The dripplugin.com website. Yeah, they DMCA'd that. <laughs> so these guys are really good at their job, as you can tell. But I just want to thank you guys for supporting me through this uh, copyright issue. The people who helped me get YouTube's attention on Twitter. The people who supported the last video. Probably could not have done that without you guys because... Um, I don't know, the manual copyright system was not working for me. I had to basically do a manual email. I've always heard quite a bit about copyright strike issues on YouTube, and this was definitely the first one I've ever experienced. Uh, YouTube needs to fix this shit. Um, so like I said, it seems like Kyle wasn't at fault here. It was red points. So this should go without saying. I kind of wish I mentioned this in the last video, but please don't attack or harass anyone. I actually don't hate Kyle Beats, and I don't really hate anyone whose products I've reviewed or even given a bad review to in the past. Not saying Kyle hasn't done bad things before or that uh, he's not worthy of criticism, but I don't think he personally was the one who did this. I will say though, I don't think it's the best idea to have an external company handling DMCA or copyright matters, especially when they're this bad at it. Kind of a really big legal issue. Anyways, um, that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on this video. There'll be more videos coming soon. Appreciate the support. I'll see you guys next time.